what do you observe about uh, mature bucks that are, I guess, different maybe than what guys assume? And what have mature bucks taught you, I guess, over the years uh, of raising deer? Well, it's interesting, Adam, on, on the farm over the years, we separate our age classes of bucks um, in different what we call pens or areas where they stay. So we'll have all the one-year-olds in an area, the two-year-olds are in an area, three-year-olds in an area, four-year-olds in an area. And so daily, throughout all of the seasons and all the years, we've been able to see what I call personality traits in each age group throughout the spring, the summer, going into the pre-rut, the rut, the post-rut, coming back into late winter when they're just trying to build up their, their body again. Um, and, and I think the biggest thing that we notice in, and I'll say it's four and five-year-old bucks and older, is the patience that those bucks demonstrate. They are never in a hurry. They definitely have figured out their favorite spots to be in. And I'm talking about bedding areas. Um, and then how they get to their food sources are normally always a little different than the younger deer. Um, yearlings, two-year-olds, some three-year-olds. Uh, I find it interesting that if you come to the farm and we're going to go into those areas and those pens, there's a straight line from the bedding area to the feed. <laughs> and it just, I mean, it's, it's like a little cow path. It's amazing. And yet when you look at the older bucks and you watch them get up in the evenings, especially, and go out to feed to the feeders or the fields, very seldom do they ever take the same direction or the same path hmm. two days in a row. They, they change it a little bit um, and they have patience. You know, you and I've talked over the years, I have watched mature bucks that will stand motionless for up to 45 minutes. They don't move anything because they're surveying and they'll outweigh any human being. We, we just don't as hunters have the patience because again, I talk to so many different hunters and they go, you know, I get out of work. I've got X amount of time to get in that tree stand. It's got to happen. You know, be, I only get to hunt the weekends or I only get to hunt these two days a week. Well, that's the best thing a deer could ever hear if they could understand what we're saying, because they're just going to go, well, I'll, I live here. I, I'm in no hurry. I'll just wait you out. And the older and more mature a buck gets, the more patience they have. And they don't get into uh, patterns. Um, they, they have their own patterns, but it's much more difficult to figure out what those patterns are because they've learned if I change them, certain dangers don't seem to appear as often. Mm -hmm.